In this video, we'll learn about Logical Volume Manager and how to configure it using Proxmox Virtual Environment. Logical Volume Manager, or LVM, is a light software layer on top of one or multiple hard disks and partitions. It allows you to create storage pools, commonly referred to as a volume group, and it can be used to split available disk space into smaller logical volumes to store VM and LXE files. In standard LVM, storage blocks are fully allocated when a volume is created, even if the space is not immediately used. LVM thin allocates storage blocks only as data is written, enabling efficient thin provisioning and saving space until it's needed. For example, with standard LVM storage, a VM with a 32GB boot drive will allocate all 32GB on the LVM, even if the VM only really uses 5GB. With LVM thin storage, that VM would only take up 5GB of space. It would then be given additional storage up to the maximum of 32 gigabytes as it is needed. LVM offers additional features like snapshots, which are like pictures of a point in time state of the volume, commonly used for installation or testing since it allows to have a backup to go back to in case something fails. It can also be used to clone virtual machines. Another feature is flexible volume management and it allows you to resize volumes while workloads are running, which means no management downtime. Let's review now how to configure both options in Proxmox. In the Proxmox graphical interface, navigate to Data Center and then Server 1. In the Content panel, click on Disks to open its items, then click LVM. Now click Create Volume Group to begin creating an LVM disk. In the Create window, select one of the available disk options. In this case, I'll select the SDC disk. In the Name field, I'm going to enter LVM Volume and then click Create to create your new disk. In the Resource tree, click the arrow to expand the Server 1 object to show its details. You should see that the LVM Volumes has been created and is now listed. Click on it. In the Content panel, Notice that you have selections showing VM disks or CT volumes connected to this LVM. In the content panel in the status area, notice the content field and the tags to the right. This is an example of how Proxmox organizes files based on content tags. Let's see now how to configure LVM thin. In the Proxmox graphical interface, navigate to data center and then server one. In the content panel, click on disks to open its items, then click LVM thin. In the LVM thin panel, click create thin pool to begin creating an LVM thin disk. In the create window, select one of the available disk options. In this case, I'll select the SDD disk. Next, name the volume. In the name field, I'll type LVM thin volume and then click create to create the new disk. In the resource tree, expand the server one and notice the volume has been created and is now listed. Let's explore a bit more. Navigate to 101 Ubuntu CT. In the content panel, in the summary section, we can see this container has a boot image of 8 GB. If we click resources and check the root disk section, we can see this boot image is located in NFS VMs. We can also see the file name and its size. Let's explore NFS VMs. Click on it and navigate to CT Volumes. We can confirm the image here and its size. To test some of the thin provisioning features, we are going to move this Ubuntu container to the recently created LVM thin volume. To do so, in the Resource tree, click on it. In the Resource panel, click to select the root disk. Click the Volume Action dropdown and then select Move Storage. In the Move Volume window, for target storage, select LVM Thin Vol. Check the Delete Source checkbox to automatically delete the old storage volume. Click Move Volume to start the transfer. A Task Viewer window will appear, and in a few seconds, it should display Task OK in the output. We can see now that the image is located in the LVM Thin Volume. Click the LVM Thin Volume in the Resource tree, and in CT volumes, we can see the image we just moved with a size of 8 gigabytes. 
Click on Summary and here we can see thin provisioning in action. The space used is only 820 megabytes, although the image is 8 gigabytes. If we go back to NFS VMs, CT volumes, we can also confirm the image is no longer available. This confirms it was deleted and the space freed up after the successful migration. You are now ready to create your own LVM and LVM thin storage. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.